We're going to talk about some gym stuff today, some exercise stuff. I was at the gym on Sunday for you guys and doing some workouts. I will show you guys those clips in this video first. I want to talk about time management and how to figure out what the heck to do when you go to the gym. A lot of people feel confused. They're squatting and they're thinking, I'm squatting, but should I be on the treadmill? Or they're on the treadmill thinking, I'm on the treadmill, but should I be doing lunges or something instead? I'm going to solve the issue for you right now. Figure out how much time you have when you're at the gym. That's step one. Commit to a certain amount of time every day. So let's say one hour, commit to one hour. In that one hour, this is step two, divide that hour in either 15 minute segments or 20 minute segments. Step number three, figure out what your goal is for that particular day and what type of workout you're gonna be doing. Example, full body workout day, which is always a good day. Step number four, figure out what each segment is going to mean for you. Example being 15 minutes dedicated to legs, 15 minutes chest and back, 15 minutes abs and stability stuff and 15 minutes of high intensity interval training. And that would be a great little one hour full body workout wrapped in a little bow. Even if you only have a half hour, then you segment that into either two 15 minute sections or three 10 minute sections or however you wanna do it. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is a workout from Sunday. I like to warm up with some kind of treadmill, some kind of jump roping or whatever, but I wanted to show you guys, you can use a treadmill as a tool for walking lunges. So you don't have to just do walking lunges in like a crowded gym or a place that's really small if you don't have a lot of room or you're embarrassed to do walking lunges around the gym. Put the treadmill on one mile per hour depending on how long your legs are and then you take nice long lunge steps. Jump squats, putting your feet to the side in between your runs. If you don't have a big gym or all you have is a treadmill in a hotel or something, you can put yourself through a killer workout throwing in lunges, sprinting, squat jumps, sprinting. Moving right along, BOSU pushers. This is kind of like a bear crawl or sled pushers. You can do this anywhere. You can do this at any gym on any surface. It's a great idea to just get your cardio out of the way and you might as well have fun while you're doing it. And I find these to be so fun. Don't give me that look. I see it. Don't judge me. I did a heavy set of lunges. Basically just to show you guys, if you're going to do a heavy set of something, that's fine, but make sure that you're doing a lighter set first. Always do a light set first, a light set, a body weight set. That way you won't injure yourself. Also, you'll probably do a much better job if you're warmed up and you did a warm up set. Here's what I wanted to show you guys about the squat. I, I know a lot of you guys might have done a squat with the bar on your back and there's nothing wrong with doing a squat with the bar on your back. Problem could be though, if you're doing squats with the bar on your back and you're folding forward and your eyes are on the floor and ending up on the floor instead of straight ahead and your chest is folding downwards, you wanna be working your booty, you don't want to be wasting time. So if you do the squat with the bar in front of you using your, your fingers and your arms to force yourself to keep your posture up you're gonna find that you're not, A, you're not gonna be, do, be able to do as much weight when you put the bar there, which is fine. B, your posture is going to be much better just overall, and C, you're gonna feel it a lot more in your booty. So I like to do all different types of push-ups. I like to make it as varied as possible. And this particular set, it's kind of like an oblique plank, and then I add a plyo in there. I jump my feet up and in together as I push up. And that's pretty much it. That's the stuff I wanted to talk about today. If you want any more information about how to get and stay lean firm and toned, you can go to leansecrets.com to get my ebook. Well, my fridge is empty right now and I need to go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys my basics and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <music>